Hey guys, just a quick recording here to show you a couple features that I think are useful if you're trying to improve on your own using statistics. Um, one is the Light Chess Chess Insights feature. So here we're looking at my um, login screen on Light Chess. So if you go to your profile, this is what you see. And the Insights is here. You might not have noticed it even if you've been using Light Chess for some time because it's pretty subtle and Light Chess doesn't really push it as one of their main features. Um, but I see this getting uh, more and more useful as, as time goes on. So the button's right here, you click Chess Insights, and if you've never done this before, this will be all blank. What you should do is click this Update Insights button. This button will become blue and available to click on every time you play some games that have been analyzed with a computer. So I'll click Update Insights, and then you'll get a screen kind of like what you see here. And what this is, is an interface where you can create graphs that mark up um, useful or interesting features of your games and uh, you can analyze the data that way. So let's say, let's start with the presets because you can do it your own way, customized, or you can use some preset um, questions. So here on the side, um, you can click on these. These are some questions that people frequently ask. One that I think is really useful is what is the win rate of my favorite openings that's white? So if you click on this, a graph will appear and if you can interpret this graph, then you can get the answer to the question that you're asking. So here, um, you can see that on the x-axis, it has some opening codes and the names of those openings. And these are all openings that I've played um, with white. So when it's a Scandinavian, that means I played e4, my opponent played d5, and these, is, these are the statistics. The green part is your victory, the red part is your defeat, and the blue part is your draws. So you can get some insights into this that you might not otherwise have been aware of. I know I showed this to one player, and they said they were really surprised by uh, their success rate in like the King's Indian, for instance. Um, so here it looks like the way I would interpret this is I'm pretty consistent across all the different openings that I face with white, and I win about 70% of my games. But it might stand out that against the French, it looks like I've not been performing very well, or against the Karakhan, I haven't been performing that well compared to the other lines. So maybe um, I should work on those. So this is how you might use these features to uh, try to improve. You look at the graphs of the interesting details, like your win rates with an opening, and you try to draw some conclusions about how you should change your preparation that way. Um, another example is um, how often do I punish blunders made by opponent during each game phase? And you'll see um, whenever you click these presets, it fills in some some values here. This one's opportunism by game phase. So opportunism's on the x-axis and game phase, um, actually the columns of the game phase. So in the opening it says that um, I punish my opponent's blunders about 73% of the time. In the middle game it's 79% and in the end game it's 74%. So those all sound pretty good to me. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to draw any special conclusions personally, but let's say that you were um, examining this and you saw a big disparity. Maybe in the opening it says like 25% in the end game it says 25% in the middle game it says like 90%. That would show that you're mostly punishing people for their mistakes in the middle game but not in the opening the end game and then you might want to um, improve your studying for those phases in particular. If you want to get really specific about what your graphs say you can go up to the um, these empty these fields at the top and select which of the fields you want to look at. For example, you could look at your results. Um, yeah, maybe you could look at your results, like game result. And here, this is just chronological because I left date here. Um, and that might be interesting if you wanted to look at sort of a time series of your results. But I think I'd be more interested in looking at um, the game result by, um, let's see, maybe material imbalance. And so here, I guess it's kind of expected that if the result is more than like a huge advantage for one side, then, oh, this one is move time. I guess it wasn't available. So this is a little bit of a, a tricky feature. Some Sometimes you can't make the graph that you want. So you just have to play with it and see what kinds of interesting things can, can come out. It's sort of a feature that Light just hasn't worked on in some time, but it has a lot of potential. I was actually thinking about making a video about this like two years ago. Um, Luck is sort of an interesting thing, and you can you can read all about how they formulate these 
um, various features that they want to make available in the graph because LightJust is open source and they publish how everything is, is calculated. The other feature that I want to show besides this um, Chess Insights is the opening tree. This is a website that people have been um, very excited about for some time and it gets better all the time. In fact, LightChess endorses people to use opening tree over their own uh, Chess Insights feature currently. Although they have recently started uh, improving some features like the ability to search your games a little more systematically as a tree. But anyway, opening tree is a great way to do this if you're preparing for a particular opponent or if you want to see um, what other people see when they prepare for you. So um, here's how it works. So first you click the format and let's just pretend we're, we're, we're trying to prepare for regular chess because I don't think anyone um, prepares for a three check or king of the hill or any of these other variants. If they do, that's surprising to me. Next you choose which website you want to um, draw the games from. So this is supposing that you know someone's username. In this case I'm going to be preparing for myself and showing you guys what it would look like if you prepared for me. Um, so I'm going to use light chess because that's what I'm playing on. And then next you supply the player details. You can speed up the, the rate at which it produces the opening tree that it's about to show you if you log in. Um, but I'm not going to do that just to save time. So you put in the name of the player that you want to search for, and then you go ahead. And you can only do it where they're playing white or black. You can't do them both at the same time. So if you want to prepare for someone really thoroughly, um, you can do two searches. So let's pretend that we're um, preparing for me as white. That means we're preparing to play black against me. There are some advanced features that you can play with, but you're already ready to go in just like four clicks if you want to see what opening someone played. So you, fit, you confirm and then you click Analyze Games. And you can see right here that the games loaded is increasing. So this means that the, the website is searching for all the games that this username played and feeding them into your um, opening tree that's being built. So here you can see the numbers are, are changing right now, but so far it says that I've, play, I've played E4 and D4 and C4 and Knight F3. I've played all these different things. E4 more than the other ones, but um, if you let it go on long enough, it'll show you that I, I play a lot of different openings pretty frequently. Yeah, here D4 is jumping up. So if you let this run for a couple minutes, it'll show you sort of the the conclusive repertoire of all the things that the person you're searching for does. And you can use this to begin searching. So let's pretend that you're like a French defense player, right? So that means that you're, you're ready for me to play E4 against you. And you want to prepare which of your French lines you do against me. So you might look here and see I've played like Queen E2 and Knight F3 and D3, uh, but not as much as D4. So if you're, if you're worried about these, you might prepare those because you know that they're at least a possibility but you'd probably focus more on the common options. And if you're playing French, you probably have your heart set on D5. And here you'll see that I sometimes take on D5, I sometimes play Knight D2, but I mostly play Knight C3. So you'll have to be ready for all of those, but you're more likely to see Knight C3. Now here, you would probably be at your first real crossroads as a French player if you have to decide what to play against me. Like maybe you like to play the winner with Bishop D4. But you'll see that even though I've only played 16 games here, my results are pretty good. Nine wins and maybe a couple draws. Anyway, um, so you might shy away from that and go for Knight of Six, where it looks like I haven't done that well. It looks like after Knight of Six, um, I have only 14 wins to 18 wins for black. And you might go down this main line. And then start analyzing here to see if you can find some weakness in, in my play against this particular opening. So this is a really quick tutorial on how you, you would use this feature, the opening tree, as well as the light chess, chess insights. It will probably get better over time, so you might want to get familiar with it while you can um, and look forward to some improvements. Okay, well, I think that's all I have for now. So I hope you like these features and that they'll be useful to you. Take care.